Right, today we're going to look at some basic probability calculations. So hopefully you know at this stage that probability is the chance of something happening. And there is a formula for it, but it's not a formula that we would ever really write down. And um, the formula is probability is the total number of desired outcomes over the total number of outcomes. Okay, and just remember that that over, it stands for divide. Okay, so let's look at a couple of basic examples of probability. Tony tosses a coin. What is the probability of him getting a heads? Okay, so the formula I used before was the number of desired outcomes over the total number of outcomes. So if you think about a coin, okay, so there's our, there's our formula. So a coin has got one head on it. Okay, so the total number of desired outcomes is one because there's only one, one side that has a head on it. And then how many sides are there in total? Well, there's two sides of a coin. There is a head side and the tail side. So as a fraction, we're going to write that as one over two. Example two, Amy rolls a dice that has six faces. What is the probability of her getting a four? Okay, so we've got six faces and hopefully you know that each face will have the number one, two, three, four, five, and six, if you've seen a dice before. So the probability of getting a four is just going to be one. So the probability of getting a four is just going to be one. Okay, because there's one four on a dice over total number of outcomes, which is six. So it's just 1 over 6 is the answer. For example, a bag contains 1 yellow, 3 green, 4 blue and 2 red marbles. What is the probability of pulling a green marble from the bag without looking? So how many green marbles have we got? Well, we've got 3 of them. So our probability is going to be 3 over the total number of outcomes. So you need to be careful there. Make sure you add up all the marbles. So 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So it's 3 over 10 is the probability.